I'm going to change things up a little bit in this video and shift from building something to going over a product. And that product is CA Glue Activator. Now, I'm sure most woodworkers are familiar with CA Glue and Activator, but if you're not, CA Glue is just super glue and an activator cures it almost instantly. If you've ever gotten CA glue on your hands, you're wondering why on earth you'd want it to dry any faster. It already dries really fast. Well, that's only because the CA glue is reacted with moisture on your skin. CA glue needs moisture to properly cure. So if you're gluing together multiple dry pieces of wood, it can feel like an eternity while you wait for that glue to dry. And this is where CA glue activators become useful. They work by inducing a chemical reaction that reduces your drying time. This can be both good and bad depending on your situation. This chemical reaction is exothermic, meaning it generates heat. And the faster that reaction occurs, the more heat that will be generated. And this can be intense enough to where it would actually boil the CA glue and give you what's referred to as a bloom, which is very unsightly, especially if you're using it to fill in gaps. So each brain I'm testing is composed of different chemicals and I'm gonna see which one behaves the best at a specific situation. I'll be testing speed on how fast it cures when you're pushing two pieces together, longevity, how long it actually remains on work pieces while you're assembling. I'll be testing clarity and how many bubbles are present or if it blooms. And I'll be testing the effects on finishes. Since these are solvent-based sprays, there is a potential that it could heavily damage a given finish. Okay, to go over each product, NCF Quick and NCF Stone are made by Satellite City. NCF Quick has always been my go-to, and it is composed of hexane and a proprietary chemical. NCF Stone is composed of heptane. Now, admittedly, NCF Stone does not do well in any test. That's because it's specifically designed for stone, so it doesn't discolor the stone when used. It specifically says in the instructions that if you're going to use it for anything other than stone, that it is recommended to use NCF Quick. But I still wanted to give it a test and see how it behaved. Mercury adhesives is a little confusing. It is composed of naphtha according to the MSDS, but the description says heptane. Doing a little research, I found that naphtha is primarily composed of heptane and various other solvents. The tight bond also contains naphtha, but it contains butene as well. And the stick fast is pretty much just acetone. Okay, for the first test, I'm going to start with NCF quick. All I'm doing is applying a little bit of the uh, thick CA glue. And I'm doing that because it takes the longest to dry. So it's going to get me a little more accurate results. At first I did try it with the thin and medium, but it dries so fast you can't really notice there's a difference between the brands. Anyways, I just apply a little bit, push it together, and move it around until it sets up. I'll time that. I'll do each brand three times and get an average. Average for the NCF thick came out to 6.23 seconds. And next up is the NCF Stone. And again, this product is specifically made for working with stone. It says so in the instructions, and it says if you're not using it for stone, to use the NCF Quick. However, I still wanted to try it to see if I could find any implications to use it while woodworking. And the NCF Stone came out to 16.4 second average. Okay, next up is the tight bond instant bond. And again, this is very similar to the mercury. It's a uh, naphtha based spray, but it also has butane into it. So the smell's not quite as intense, but it doesn't operate as good either. And tight bond came in with an average of 8.94 seconds. Okay, next up is mercury adhesives. And in the description, again, it says that it is heptane-based. However, in the MSDS, it says naphtha. And after doing a bunch of research, I found that naphtha is primarily composed of heptane and then has various other solvents in it. And the mercury came in at an average of 6.19 seconds. Okay, and finally we have the stick fast. Now, this stuff 
really jets out of the nozzle. So it's kind of hard not to excessively saturate your workpiece. So that's kind of a negative about it. But it does dry very, very quickly. It came to an average of 3.92 seconds. For the next test, I'm testing the longevity of the accelerator. I'm applying the accelerator to five pieces of wood and at minute intervals applying CA glue and seeing how long it takes for it to dry. I'm comparing these results to the previous test and I'm looking for a very steep decline in the curing time. Now obviously it does slow down a little bit, but it's only a couple seconds as I go on and I'm looking for something that's more than 30 seconds. The average cure time without CA glue was two and a half minutes. So there is a vast difference of, of using accelerator and not using accelerator. In the test for longevity, I did end up having to extend a couple of them because five minutes just wasn't enough. The mercury adhesives ended up lasting a little over 20 minutes. The NCF stone also lasted for a little over 20 minutes. The stick fast lasted for about 15. However, with the application head, it does apply a lot of material, so you're basically saturating your workpiece in acetone. The tight bond lasted for around 5 minutes, and the NCF quick lasted for about 3 minutes. For the next test, I'll be testing clarity. I'm starting with NCF quick, and I'm applying a thick, medium, and thin CA glue, and lightly spraying it with the accelerator. Now with accelerated, you don't need to spray a lot, a little goes a very long way. And if you oversaturate your piece, you're just going to get a bunch of blooming. Which the thin seems to bloom pretty much with all of them anyways. So I just think it's a lot more reactive than the medium and thick. Okay, next up using the same process with NCF Stone. Now this one probably looked the best, but it took forever to cure. So it's not really a useful application, but again, it's not designed for this. It's designed to work with stone. Now, Titebond had very similar results to the NCF Quick, although with the thin, it did bloom significantly more. The medium and thick, however, looked relatively similar. There was some bubbles, but it didn't actually bloom. Next up is Mercury Adhesives Accelerator. And I think this one probably did the best in this test. The medium and thick looked relatively similar to the other brands. However, the thin had a much more mild bloom compared to the rest. And finally, we have Stickfast, which is an acetone-based accelerator. In my opinion, this one was the most violent reaction, causing some pretty intense blooming in the thin and some blemishes on the medium and thick. In my opinion, Mercury Adhesives excelled in this test. NCF Stone looked better, but you would have to be willing to wait quite a bit for that to cure. That would be followed by NCF Quick, Tight Bond, and then lastly, the Stick Fast. Now, as you can see, the accelerators didn't work very well with the thin CA glue. It's just such a violent reaction that you're going to get blooming. So if you're doing any kind of fill, I definitely would not recommend using thin. I'd use the thick or the medium, and those still got some bubbles into it, but it's not nearly as bad as the thin. And for the final test, we'll test the effects on finishes. Again, since these sprays are solvent-based, there's a potential that it could damage some finishes. So I have poly, rubio, shellac, tongue oil, and lacquer, and these have all been finished for over a year, so it's plenty of time for the stuff to cure. I have each square taped off, and I'm applying the different sprays to each finish and seeing if there's any effect of it just sitting there and or being rubbed into it. Now, I was really surprised by this test. I thought these finishes were going to be obliterated by these accelerators, but I was completely wrong, and most of them had little to no effect. Okay, first up we have the polyurethane finish. And there was no effect from any of the accelerators. Next up is Rubio Monaco. And again, we had no effect from any of the accelerators. And I'm sorry that was a little out of frame. Next up is Shellac, which I thought would do the worst, but it held up great to everything. 
The tongue oil also held up very well. It had no visible discoloration or any damage. And lastly, we move to Lacquer, the disappointing child. It was absolutely destroyed by the stick fast. And on the rubbing portion, the mercury definitely affected it as well. And now the camera would not pick up everything, but it was definitely affected heavily. And after removing the tape, the stick fast portion really stood out being damaged. And since it is acetone based, I kind of should have expected it. And I would think it would probably heavily damage anything that was painted. Although I didn't have anything painted to test, so unfortunately I didn't get to that point. So now you're asking yourself, which brand is going to be the best one to purchase? But honestly, there's not an answer for that. It's going to be whatever one best suits the situations that you need it for. For me personally, that's going to be Satellite City's NCF Quick and Mercury Adhesives. Now these behaved relatively similar. However, Mercury Adhesives remained on the project pieces for longer, so it would be beneficial to use for gluing up multiple pieces. Though, generally, if I'm going to be doing that, I'll be using wood glue, so that's not necessarily beneficial to me. Though it is very beneficial for clarity value. If I'm filling in gaps, this is going to make the glue look a lot better than the NCF Quick. But this also has some negative effects on lacquer, which is my go-to finish. I also don't really care for the smell. It has a very strong odor to me, and it's a little off-putting. Though I'm sure some people would enjoy it and others wouldn't even notice it. So for general use, I'll stick with NCF Quick. And for deep pores or the rare occasion that I'm gluing multiple pieces together, I'll be using Mercury Adhesives. The Tight Bond had a very similar chemical makeup to the Mercury Adhesives. However, it vastly underperformed when compared. So I don't think there's any reason to use this. The Stick Fast is acetone based. So it's a very aggressive solvent, and I think it could heavily damage various other finishes that I didn't test. It also applies way too much of the spray, in my opinion. So I don't think there's any reason to use that either. The NCF stone, well, that's just made for stone, so there's really no reason to use it in woodworking. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.